In the ever-shifting tides of geopolitics, amidst the echoes of a bygone era, an ominous question looms. USA versus Russia ICBM, a chilling symphony of power reverberating through history. In this video, we're diving into a topic that might send shivers down your spine, the USA and Russia showdown with nuclear weapons. Yep, we're talking about those big, bad intercontinental ballistic missiles, or ICBMs. So buckle up because we're about to compare these lethal weapons and explore what could happen if they ever faced off. Ready to join me on this eye-opening journey? Let's get started. Way back when, in the mid-20th century, the United States and Russia, back then it was the Soviet Union, were like two heavyweight champs in a tense standoff. This era was called the Cold War. They weren't throwing punches directly at each other, but they sure were flexing their nuclear muscles. Both countries were racing to build more and more nuclear weapons, including these super scary ICBMs. And boy, did this raise some eyebrows around the world. All right, let's roll up our sleeves and dive deeper into the heart of this epic ICBM showdown. Picture this, two behemoths poised for action, armed with the deadliest payloads ever conceived, ICBMs or intercontinental ballistic missiles. These aren't just any rockets, they're the stuff of nightmares and cutting-edge technology. Today, we're shining a spotlight on the USA's Minuteman III and Russia's RS-24 Yars, two fierce contenders in this high-stakes game of nuclear chess. Let's start with the Minuteman III, the crown jewel of the United States ICBM arsenal. Think of it as the ultimate long-distance marksman. This missile is designed to traverse continents in the blink of an eye, with deadly precision that leaves no room for error. Its name is fitting. It can launch into action within minutes, living up to its moniker of Minuteman. Armed with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, or MIRVs, the Minuteman III becomes a terrifying multitasker, capable of raining destruction on multiple targets with chilling accuracy. Now, shifting our gaze to the other side of the ring, we encounter Russia's formidable RS-24 Yars. This ICBM takes the art of evasive maneuvers to a whole new level. Imagine trying to catch a speeding bullet with your bare hands. That's the kind of challenge we're talking about. The RS-24 Yars can change its trajectory mid-flight, employing sophisticated maneuvers that would leave any interceptor struggling to keep up. This missile's ability to alter its course unpredictably makes it a nightmare to intercept, leaving defense systems scratching their heads and coming up empty-handed. But there's more to these ICBMs than their sheer power and agility. These weapons represent the culmination of decades of scientific ingenuity and engineering prowess. They stand as a testament to the lengths to which nations will go to secure their strategic interests and protect their sovereignty. Meanwhile, the Minuteman III's MIRVs exemplify the United States' strategy of overwhelming adversaries with sheer numerical superiority. Each missile can carry multiple warheads, each capable of targeting different locations independently. This multiplies the potential devastation, leaving an opponent with the nearly impossible task of intercepting and neutralizing every incoming warhead. The technological dance between the Minuteman III and the RS-24 Yars underscores the relentless pursuit of military dominance and the constant push for an upper hand in the complex geopolitical landscape. As we contemplate the intricacies of these ICBMs, it's vital to remember the broader context in which they exist. The United States and Russia, both possessing vast nuclear arsenals, bear the weight of history's lessons. The catastrophic events of Hiroshima and Nagasaki remain seared into the collective consciousness, serving as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences that nuclear conflict can unleash. So, what if these ICBMs were ever pitted against each other in a doomsday scenario? The answer is both sobering and chilling, mutually assured destruction. This term, often abbreviated as MAD, encapsulates the grim reality that any nuclear exchange between major powers would likely lead to catastrophic consequences for both sides. It's a paradoxical situation where the very existence of these weapons acts as a deterrent against their use, creating a fragile equilibrium that teeters on the edge of oblivion. 
In the face of this sobering truth, the imperative for arms control and disarmament becomes all the more critical. The history of U.S.-Russia nuclear arms control is a complex tapestry of negotiations, treaties, and diplomatic efforts. These projects seek to reduce the risk of nuclear catastrophe by placing limits on the number of warheads, launchers, and delivery systems. While progress has been made, challenges and uncertainties persist, reminding us of the urgency to build bridges of understanding and cooperation. Our journey into the hypothetical clash of nuclear titans continues to unveil deeper layers of insight and complexity. Beyond the technological marvels of the Minuteman III and the RS-24 Yars, there are strategic considerations that come into play. A high-stakes game where winning takes on an entirely different meaning. As we analyze this thought-provoking scenario, it's important to address a question that may weigh heavily on many minds. Can a nuclear war actually be won? To explore this, we turn to recent analyses and perspectives that shed light on the matter. The notion of winning a nuclear war may seem paradoxical and counterintuitive. After all, the catastrophic consequences associated with nuclear conflict are imprinted on the collective consciousness of humanity. Yet some arguments suggest that the U.S. holds a strategic advantage in such a scenario. According to some analysts, the U.S. nuclear triad, a three-pronged approach encompassing land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBMs, and strategic bombers, lends the nation a level of flexibility and redundancy that its adversaries might lack. This triad provides a diversified and survivable means of delivering nuclear firepower, thereby enhancing the U.S.'s ability to respond even in the face of an attack. Furthermore, Technological advancements in missile defense systems have been touted as potential game-changers. These systems, designed to intercept and destroy incoming missiles, could theoretically tip the scales in favor of the defending nation. However, it's important to note that the efficacy of missile defense remains a subject of debate among experts. From an intriguing perspective, some argue that the goal should not be to win a nuclear war, but rather to deter it altogether. The very concept of mutually assured destruction, MAD, serves as a powerful deterrent, compelling nations to exercise restraint and seek diplomatic solutions to conflicts. The catastrophic aftermath of a large-scale nuclear exchange underscores the urgency of pursuing disarmament and arms control measures. Yet the discourse surrounding the potential outcome of a nuclear conflict goes beyond mere calculations of technology and strategy. It delves into the moral and ethical dimensions of human decision-making. The voices of reason advocate for the preservation of life, the pursuit of peaceful coexistence, and the prioritization of dialogue over destruction. In a world where the specter of nuclear war remains, the path forward demands a collective commitment to preventing such a catastrophic event. It hinges on the principles of diplomacy, arms control, and a steadfast dedication to global security. The hypothetical clash between the Minuteman III and the RS-24 Yars serves as a stark reminder, a vivid tableau of the choices we face and the responsibilities we bear. As we reflect on the pages of history, we're confronted with the haunting specters of Hiroshima and Chernobyl, two catastrophic events that etched the dire consequences of unchecked power into humanity's collective memory. These tragedies serve as unwavering reminders of the devastating toll that nuclear weapons can exact upon our world. They stand as chilling testaments to the imperative of ensuring that such horrors never recur. So let's take a collective breath and step into the realm of possibility, a realm where the scars of the past propel us toward a future guided by cooperation and the pursuit of lasting peace. The Cold War, with its ominous shadows and ever-looming threats, has retreated into the annals of history, yet its lessons remain as relevant as ever. In this precarious moment in time, we find ourselves at a crossroads, beckoned by the echoes of bygone conflicts and beckoned forward by the promise of a world united in purpose. It's a world where nations must not only communicate but truly collaborate, where the pursuit of security isn't a solitary endeavor but a shared responsibility. The confrontation that defined an era must yield to a symphony of diplomatic discourse, where the deafening drums of saber-rattling give way to the harmonious notes of peaceful negotiation. 
The very survival of our planet rests upon our ability to transcend the barriers of distrust and embrace the language of dialogue. We are the stewards of a fragile blue planet, a planet that knows no borders when it comes to the destructive force of nuclear catastrophe. The air we breathe, the waters that sustain us, the lands we call home, none of these respects the artificial boundaries drawn on maps. As inhabitants of this interconnected globe, we share not only the beauty it offers, but also the perils that threaten it. In the midst of our differences, we are bound by our shared humanity and the universal desire for a secure and prosperous future. It's time to replace the bleak canvas of potential conflict with strokes of cooperation, to craft a tapestry woven from the threads of mutual understanding and trust. Imagine a world where the resources invested in the development and maintenance of deadly arsenals are redirected toward initiatives that uplift humanity. A world where cutting-edge technology isn't synonymous with annihilation, but is harnessed to solve the most pressing global challenges, from climate change to disease eradication. The path forward is illuminated by the stories of those who have dared to defy convention, who have chosen diplomacy over destruction, from the ashes of Hiroshima emerged a resilience that gave birth to a fervent call for disarmament. The haunting specter of Chernobyl led to a re-evaluation of our responsibility to safeguard not only our nations, but the very environment that sustains us. As history's torchbearers, we stand on the shoulders of those who fought for a world free from the shadows of nuclear war. The road ahead is daunting, but it is one that beckons us to rise above the constraints of geopolitics and embrace the boundless potential of human cooperation. In the grand tapestry of time, this pivotal moment is but a fleeting chapter. A chapter that, if written with wisdom and collective action, can lead to a narrative of hope, resilience, and triumph over the darkest aspects of our nature. The power is in our hands. The choice is ours to make. Let us seize this opportunity to forge a future where the echoes of Hiroshima and Chernobyl serve not as lamentations of despair, but as reminders of our unwavering resolve to build a world where the threat of nuclear conflict is but a distant memory. Now that we've delved into the importance of cooperation and peaceful negotiations, let's shift our gaze to the evolving landscape of nuclear threats. It's not just the USA and Russia in this arena, there are new players entering the scene and they're armed with their own set of challenges and complexities. Emerging powers are gradually stepping onto the nuclear stage, presenting us with a fresh set of questions. How will countries like China and North Korea fit into the global nuclear puzzle? How do their arsenals compare to the established players, and what implications does this have for international security? As we venture deeper into the realm of nuclear complexities, our gaze turns to the undeniable awakening of the sleeping giant itself, China. A nation of profound history and remarkable transformation, China has emerged as a formidable contender on the global stage of nuclear weaponry. Its rapid technological advancements and burgeoning military might have propelled it into a league of its own. Amidst the towering skyscrapers and bustling cities, a more discreet but equally potent competition is unfolding, the race to fortify its nuclear arsenal. At the forefront of this endeavor is the DF-41 Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, a testament to China's engineering prowess and strategic ambition. With its astonishing range and capacity to carry multiple warheads, the DF-41 has become a cornerstone of China's growing nuclear deterrent. The implications of China's ascent in the nuclear realm are far-reaching and multifaceted. As the nation bolsters its capabilities, questions reverberate throughout the international community. What motivates China's nuclear pursuits? How will its expanding arsenal influence global dynamics? Will it tread a path of cooperation and arms control? Or will its trajectory take a distinct course? In this unfolding narrative, history casts its long shadow. China's storied past, marked by resilience and evolution, offers insights into the nation's approach to strategic matters. While China has historically adhered to a policy of minimum deterrence, Recent developments suggest a recalibration of its stance. The shifting landscape poses complex inquiries about the future, a future where China's nuclear choices play a pivotal role. Navigating these uncharted waters demands a delicate balance of diplomacy and vigilance. As China's influence continues to extend its reach, nations around the world must grapple with the implications of its nuclear ascent. 
Will the sleeping giant be a harbinger of stability or an enigmatic force that reshapes the contours of global security? Amidst these uncertainties, one truth remains steadfast. The power to shape the narrative lies in the hands of both the leaders and the citizens. At this juncture of history, the course of action taken by China, whether it mirrors the trajectory of cooperation and disarmament or charts a different course, is a decision that resonates beyond borders. Now, let's unravel the mystery surrounding North Korea, a country making a lot of noise with its nuclear plans. Think of North Korea as a puzzle with missing pieces. It's led by a family that does things in ways that are hard to predict, which keeps everyone guessing. Imagine North Korea as a person who likes to show off by doing things no one expects. One of those things is building powerful weapons, like rockets, that can carry bombs really far. These rockets are like a warning sign to the world that the North Korea wants to be taken seriously. The big question is, why is North Korea doing all this? Some experts think it's to make other countries listen to them, like having a strong voice in an argument. Others worry that North Korea might actually use these weapons, which could lead to big trouble. While we try to figure out North Korea's plans, one thing is clear. Their actions affect everyone. Imagine if you lived in a neighborhood and one house started making loud noises and threatening gestures. Everyone nearby would be concerned and want to find a way to calm things down. Even though North Korea's behavior seems puzzling, there have been moments when its leaders talked with leaders from other countries. These talks, like when North Korea's leader met with a former U.S. president, gave hope that they might agree to stop making dangerous weapons. But here's the tricky part. Figuring out if North Korea will really give up its nuclear plans is like trying to guess the ending of a movie you've never seen before. The world is watching and hoping for a happy ending, where everyone agrees to get rid of the dangerous toys and find peaceful solutions. As we explore further, you'll see that there's much more to consider than just countries with big bombs. In our super high-tech world, there's a new kind of danger, hackers. Yep, just like how bad guys can hack into your computer or phone, they could potentially hack into a country's nuclear systems. Imagine if someone broke into a bank's computer and messed with the money. Now, picture them messing with nuclear stuff. That's a scary thought, right? And then there's the issue of nuclear materials falling into the wrong hands. Think of it like someone sneaking into a candy shop after hours and taking all the candy. Except this candy could blow up entire cities. We've got to make sure that these materials are locked up tight so that nobody can use them to make a dangerous weapon. Another tricky part is finding the right balance between getting rid of nuclear weapons and keeping just enough to keep everyone in check. It's kind of like trying to share your favorite toys with your friends, but also making sure you have enough toys to play with yourself. But don't worry, there's a superhero in this story and it's called Diplomacy. Diplomacy is like talking things out with your friends when you have a problem. It's not always easy, especially when countries have different ideas and histories, but it's super important for avoiding big conflicts. While it might seem like a huge puzzle, we've seen countries come together in the past to solve these problems. Like when they made rules to limit certain types of nuclear weapons. It's kind of like agreeing not to use certain moves in a game so that it's more fair and safe. As we contemplate these intricate questions, one thing becomes clear. The path to a safer world requires collective effort and shared responsibility. Just as the USA and Russia must collaborate, so too must all nations work together to ensure a future free from the horrors of nuclear conflict. By embracing diplomacy, fostering dialogue and engaging in sincere negotiations, we can strive for a world where the shadows of nuclear war are replaced with the light of understanding and unity. It's a daunting task, but history has shown us that remarkable change is possible when humanity comes together with a common purpose. So let's wrap this up. We've learned that controlling nuclear weapons is a big challenge, especially in today's world of technology and global connections. But with teamwork, talking things out and making smart choices, we can build a better and safer future for everyone. And that's a wrap for our video. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.